Uh, we're just spending a lazy October uh, weekend with 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 the great uh, 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 fox wrangler, <laughs> who is uh, working hard. Clearly, still on the government dime, so he is lounging yep. on the beach. I'm monitoring foxes. Monitoring foxes. So. There are no foxes. <laughs> Throwing distance. <laughs> Throwing distance. I can see none here. So, get, tell us. Not a problem. So, as you as you exit the wonderful program that you've uh, <laughs> developed, so w tell me the, what's our most recent status? What's our most recent Fox you know, numbers foxes stuff? Foxes are doing great. And it's great you ask because I just ran numbers this week, and uh, despite the drought, we have probably 700 total foxes. Whoa! On the gal, which is fantastic. Whoa! We have. Uh, 1200 on Rosa, which is really I've ever heard about, and there's probably 1200. 1200 on Rosa. Rosa had a great adults, year. juveniles, everything. This, this is the whole. This is everybody. Yeah. Wow. I think we have uh, 900 um, adults and the rest of the adults, and that's those are estimates. Right, 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 right. 1200 either way. But it's funny about Rosa because fourth year of a drought, and they had a kick butt year. So we, why? I don't know. I, the only thing, the only difference is on Miguel, we've been at carrying capacity for five uh -huh. or six years now, uh -huh. and so uh -huh. they're getting their butts kicked by the drought. Uh -huh. They essentially shut down reproduction. We had hardly any huh. pups the past three years. But Rosa, uh, they're, they're at half the density of Miguel, and so there's still room to grow even with the drought. And we had we had 68 pups on the grids on Rosa this year, which is twice as many as last year. Wow. So, so you think that they're just better at, at, at are they out competing somebody are they out competing some water so are they finding some water well, source what's better what's interesting about that is um, skunks are going down yeah okay that was yes, okay yes mm -hmm. the skunks and uh, foxes have a competitive relationship right it's interference competition sometimes foxes kill and even eat skunks and as we see the foxes recover on Rosa the skunks are going down and the skunks have been plentiful there ever since foxes were uh, we're not doing so well. So it's very interesting in these simple ecosystems you certainly get a give and take among uh, the, the few predators we have out there in the system. Yeah. And so and so sometimes people say why do we spend all this money on recovering these things but this is a clear success story right? Oh it's one yeah it's funny most uh, endangered species stay on the list 25 years we'll be off in 12 uh, for island foxes. It's been a great success story uh, and it's just goes to show if you um, if you do the right things, especially in an island ecosystem, you can make big changes because we take pigs off, they're not coming back. That type of thing. And so, uh, yeah, everything worked, and there was nobody opposed to island fox recovery. That was another advantage right. that we had. There right. was no right. controversy about what we needed to do. So, um, yeah, things are going really well right now. We're on constant alert against diseases. Uh, we, we certainly we vaccinate foxes on all six islands, which is very unusual for any carnivore in the United States. Uh, we have a vaccinated population on each island, so we never get hit up by rabies or uh, Canada simper virus. But other than that, things are going real well, even throughout a deep four-year drought. And so, now that you've worked on a project for so long, it's been your baby for so long, and you're going to be... Uh, somewhat separating. How, how is that going to be? Are you, are, are you excited to take a break or do you think you'll be miss it or how, uh, how's that going to work? Both. The great thing is I'll still do some island fox work. I'll still run the island fox conservation working group. Um, I'm going to write three papers for the next symposium. I'll still be involved in that. I just won't have to do the other things. <laughs> all the horrible stuff that we have exactly. to do. All the administrative all the crud. Administrative stuff. <laughs> Later. No, and it's, it is a very emotional thing because it's been my uh, island foxes I've been doing for 23 years and we've seen them up, down, and now up again and it's kind of a bookend situation. We wrote a book on them. Uh, so it's, it's tough to completely let go of that. But um, what I'm going to try and do right now is teach uh, at the middle school level and get kids excited about oh, cool. science. So um, I look forward to, to that chapter. Awesome. Yeah. Well, on behalf of everybody that's watching this video that can extend there, I'm going to extend my hand and say thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> Go lie on a beach somewhere. Awesome, awesome. Right on, Sean.